Okay, my name is Steve White. I'm half the White Lindau production of this machine. This is an exact replica, same size, same action as a real Rose engine that I have in my basement. And the reason I started making them along with clockmaker David Lindau is because these machines are very hard to find. You can really only find them out east up by Maine, from Rhode Island, a few in New Hampshire, all around in that area. They're in the basement of jewelry factories. They're usually beat up, and if a guy knows what they're worth, maybe six, eight thousand bucks, you're going to have trouble finding it, you're going to have trouble negotiating a price, you're going to have trouble getting it home, and when you get it home, you're going fi to try to figure out what's broke. And you don't want to do jewelry. You want to do woodworking, which is what I wanted to do with it. So I had to convert it from metal to wood. And I said, no one's ever going to get in this club of ornamental turners if they have to go through what I did. And Dave said the same thing, David Lindau. Let's just remake the machine for the woodworker. And that's what we did. We made the patterns. It was cast iron, cast iron, cast iron, all cast iron pulleys. And the cutting frame, which we are selling to the guys who are making homemades but don't have any metalworking capabilities in your shop. So we sell the, uh, the cutting frames. I have a couple here with me today if you're interested in making uh, the homemade MDF or something else. Uh, one thing you'll always need is a cutting frame. Now this cutting frame is considered horizontal. It's made with two carbide inserts that you can take out when it gets dull and just uh, change them over. So you don't have to do a lot of sharpening and it works great. I will say this, full out it's running about 20,000. You don't need 20,000 to cut most everything. So a rheostat is nice because these belts will fatigue after a month or two and they'll break if you run them at 20,000 all the time. So uh, you want to make sure you buy an inexpensive $8 rheostat and turn it down to whatever's cutting and looks good. You don't need to run it that loud and that fast. Another thing, everyone is overlooking the fact that this is number one for making all these beautiful designs you see on my table out there. Uh, it, it cuts this in a matter of like 20 minutes. It makes beautiful work so people get hung up in sticking with the horizontal cutting frames. If you switch over and put a, like a, uh, I want to say a Fordham cutter, in a small wooden V block with some hose clamps and stick it in your quick change tool post and you start using router bits as your cutter, everything you've learned about what it'll do changes and it turns really neat and very interesting for doing lids on your vessels, doing the bottom of a small shallow plate. It makes things look really sweet and there's a gentleman out there who sells these small carbide rotary chisels. A little a few hours ago I tried to hold his little uh, Dremel tool with these little rotaries in it up against here and we did it on this side. It made these beautiful little spots all around the side. It's called uh, rotarychisels.com and uh, that little carbide is going to hold up a long time and do a lot of little interesting things to things that are smaller and bigger. Something else you want to consider I'm going to pass these four around, plus his little rotaries. These are router bits that I found to be really interesting on Rose engine work. So there's at least five or six in here. They're in their original boxes. I'll start them down here. You could pass them around. So don't overlook router bits, and you can make it fairly inexpensive. Just keep in mind. If it's this big around as your router, it's not going to fit on here unless your table's lower. So you're going to need half the diameter between here and your base. So don't, you can't get it too big. A flush trim router might work. So uh, now you know a little bit about the machine or a little about me. I'm going to explain here uh, something you all should be aware of. And that is, this is a Rose engine and it rocks back and forth. These cams are called rosettes, and the little finger that touches the rosette is called a rubber. And Rose Engine falls under the category of ornamental turning. It's a pie. 
Ornamental turning is a pie with three sides. They're all equally divided. Those old Hosafel uh, ornamental turning lathes are very expensive. A cheap one would be ten to 15000 and one fully decked out could be as high as 90000 That cuts me and everybody else out of the picture. And that's why this stuff never took off. So Hosafel has 33% of the market. The other 33 is called engine turning. What is engine turning? Well, when you look at old pocket watches from the early 1800s all the way to the 50s, you'll find these really beautiful geometric patterns either on the face of the watch dial or most commonly on the back of the watch itself. Ladies' compacts were number two, and cigarette cases were number three. They had all these beautiful designs on them. Those were all done by engine turners. A lot of engine turning was done on a rose engine. The other half was on a similar machine called a straight line. I'll pass these around. This is the original intent for at least 50% of this work. Old timers, if they knew we were running wood on a true rose engine, of which I have three in my house, they'd, they'd want to strangle me. You know, it's just not done, they'd say. But when you see the beautiful work that it used to do, and by the way, those are scrap, uh, just something I was playing with in my shop. They, they were very particular about their machine. There's no way they would have run Corian or anything else on their machine. They're for jewelry. That's all they would do. Guys like us, we would switch them over the first day we have them. So a small sliver of engine turning is straight line work. That's where the lines are straight instead of rotary. The last part of the pie is a rose engine which is a rocking headstock. Uh, the one thing that I wanted to do as a tool and die maker was I wanted to make this machine as versatile as I could. So on the back plate here, I have a 96-hole dividing plate. And what separates rose engine work from ornamental turning work is that ornamental turning work is done with a division plate in the back of the machine, and your cutter moves along an axis back and forth like a router bit. So you're doing flutes and spirals all off an indexing plate. Well, if you pull my machine back and you just tighten this little threaded nut, it won't rock anymore. Right there, it won't rock. It'll just revolve. And if you count the divisions, 96 is divided, can be divisible by just about everything. Now you have an ornamental turning lathe. If you take this, turn it 90 degrees, you can put flutes down the side of a small object. I wouldn't do anything too long, because the further you get out, the more deflection you're going to get. So what I tried to do is make two machines into one. And it's just that easy. Just loosen the nut, and it doesn't rock. You loosen it back, and it falls forward. And what we've tried to do is come up with a lot of different patterns. There's 20 different patterns for this machine and seven different rubbers. And some of you know it and some of you don't. If you've been by my booth, you'll notice one thing, and I try to mention it as guys go by. Every rosette pattern has two different patterns that come off of it, a shown and a mechanical opposite. When you're cutting on this side of center, from the center line to the front of the machine, your pattern on your wood looks like your rosette. If you go on the other side of center, it's the mechanical opposite. So if I had a rosette that went bump, 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 and I went on the other side, I'd get scallop, 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 scallop. So I have 20 rosettes, you get 40 patterns. Every rubber that I put on this machine that's different than the one I put on before it changes that pattern just a little bit.